Shalom, brothers and sisters. We are fast coming up on Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, one of the feasts that are on the list of those yet to be fulfilled. Now, the interesting thing is, if I had to sum up Yom Kippur, I would say, and there's many ways to do this, but once a year, one man. One man, once a year. On Yom Kippur, the holiest day of the year, the holiest person for Israel, the high priest, enters the holiest place on earth, the Holy of Holies chamber in the temple sanctuary. Here, he prays on behalf of all his Jewish brethren and secures their atonement. That is the process of Yom Kippur. It makes it so much more painful for them because there is no temple standing and why they are pushing so hard for a temple to be built. Now there's tradition here and legend surrounding the process, which I really like and I think was possibly quite true, of bells on a garment and a rope. According to tradition, during the last couple of centuries of the temple's existence, a gold or scarlet rope was tied to the high priest's foot on the Day of Atonement. Another priest standing in the holy place, just outside the Holy of Holies, tended the other end of the rope. If the high priest's sins were not atoned for properly, God would strike him dead when he entered the presence of the Shekinah glory, the glory of God that filled the Holy of Holies. Since access to that part of the temple was strictly forbidden, the priests felt they needed a way to retrieve the body if necessary. Exodus 28 verse 33 to 35 specified that bells and knitted pomegranates were to be worn on the hem of the high priest's garment so that the sound of the bells would be heard when he enters the holy place before the Lord and when he comes out. Verse 35. The bells provided an audible cue to those outside the tabernacle of the high priest's whereabouts. They could tell when he entered and exited the Holy of Holies. Entrance and exit covered by sound. According to the rope tradition, the bells provided a means of knowing if the priest had died. If the jingling stopped, the priest on the other end of the rope would be alerted to the fact that the priest had ceased moving. An alternative explanation of the rope tradition says the rope was tied around the high priest's foot As a reminder to exit the Holy of Holies. This one I like too. According to the theory, the exquisite beauty of the presence of God would so mesmerize the high priest that all earthly concerns would fall away. He would be so lost in awe and wonder that he would want to stay forever in God's presence. I can relate to that. The rope served as a reminder to him of the real world outside and bring him back to the people who needed him. Most likely, there was a possibility that there was no rope, but I think there probably was. Throughout the year, the high priest was bedecked in resplendent attire whilst performing his duties. The high priest's vestments featured gold and precious stones and finest materials, And when entering the Holy of Holies, he was clad in a simple, pristine, white linen garment. Not a touch of opulence or grandeur anywhere. White garments. Keep your robes clean. All you come with is yourself and that clean garment. No gold, no precious stones, no nothing else is going to help you. In the presence of God. I want to give you uh, some reference here in Hebrews 4 verse 14 to 16. And you can look at 1 Peter 2 verse 9 and Revelation 1 6 as well. But in Hebrews 4 verse 14 to 16 it says. Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens. Jesus the son of God. 
Let us hold fast our confession, for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Our high priest, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, is there for us. And we can boldly approach the throne of grace at any time. We have relationship with our high priest who understands us perfectly. And how precious and beautiful is that. We don't have to have a once a year, one man situation that is doing all these things for the nation and hope for the best. We have a all the time constant approach to the throne of grace through the blood of Jesus Christ which has covered us and made us his own and we can approach him at all times anywhere not just once a year one man. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.